All right, guys, let's get started. So today I'm going to be doing some color mixing. As you can see here, I really wanted this collection to be uh, soft colors with very... Um, I'm going to be doing hand painting, so I wanted the backgrounds to be pastel -y, soft, bright, you know, summery, springy colors or whatever. So right here, I'm just color mixing my little tail off. I'm mixing some white with some concrete. It's like almost like a speckled look, so it's a light speckled look. I also use some different other colors. I did not use that Craft Smart, though. I pulled it out there. Um, I know someone who says it's so great, but I was just like, you know what? I'm I'm all I'm a primo. Well, I will use souffle. It's one color there that's actually a souffle, I believe, and I did not end up using it. I don't think, but because it's like the last one, I'm holding down to it for their life. I don't know why. Anyhow, um, so I'm just mixing myself away with different colors, and if you guys know me, when I do color mixing, I do not go by any type of recipe whatsoever i just mix colors together and hope that they come out that's really all i do i mean eventually one day i might be oh actually i did use that craft smart i forgot okay i forgot i used it i mixed it with some primo i was really trying to make a very light pink so hmm i, I forgot i used that anyhow but it turned out good and i was gonna resin these anyway so it did turn out pretty good. It had to be leached. That's why I'm putting it on the paper on the side. If you guys can see all of those colors on the, I guess it would be your right hand side. I don't know. But over there, that paper, not near the silver, but on the other side, you'll see paper. I'm basically um, making all of the colors that I'm going to use, cutting off the, any of the edges, and just kind of stacking it up. And then from there, I'll do the hand painting. And I actually think that's, you know, I leech that pink one to um, make it a little bit more easier to use. I, now I'm thinking about it, that craft smart. Anyway, that's a whole new episode. I'm not going to talk about leeching and craft smart and all of that. We just go go with what the majority of what I used was Prima okay so now hey girl welcome to my channel if this is your first time here welcome if you've been a part of the oh so pretty squad I'm so glad that you're back if you want to join the squad all you got to do is hit that subscribe button and you are in on this channel, I'm going to take you behind the scenes of my handmade accessories business as well as give you helpful tips and helpful information for running a small handmade or product based business. So don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit that notification bell. Let's create something oh so pretty. Are you guys ready to start painting? This is my favorite part. So. I did a bunch of different painting. I wanted it to be like abstract, but a little bit floral like. Um, as you can see, I actually even mixed up a lot of those colors there that I'm using. They weren't straight out the bottle. Some of them were super bright, so I added some white to them to kind of tone them down and make those a little bit pastel. I also um I, I cut a lot of pieces since I think I worked with about five different designs this collection is is going to be like almost like pat like different patterns working together but in the same color story so it's going to be a part two to this video or maybe I'll release a little short video showing you guys the finished product because I actually do not finish them on this video unfortunately because I because they're painted I want to make sure they were protected so I had to resin them and these were I had to resin a lot and so they're actually still curing from the resin but I'll do a little video or somehow show you guys how they turned out like all put together I'm actually gonna assemble those um tomorrow so I might do a part two tomorrow and just kind of show you guys what they look like we'll see I don't know when I'm gonna do it but some eventually so I do the first design which was like almost like a little leaf colorful then I did the pink now I'm doing a like flower type of design 
I'm really good at drawing flowers, but I was struggling on this one, I think. I feel like it's just hard because with polymer clay, just to give you guys a heads up, if you try this at home, with the clay, it's like it takes longer for it to dry a little bit but then you don't really want it to dry when you're cutting it because then you get the paint will get like stringy almost so whenever you hand paint if you do decide to do this technique you want to cut it as soon as possible and then wipe your cutters off so you don't you know mess up your cutters with paint so I would highly suggest doing that right away but I really do think they came out they're very abstract floral no, you know, I wasn't trying to go for perfection at all. I wanted them to look very hand painted, very abstract, very just like avant-garde type of a situation. So, I, yeah, I did a lot. I did like pink, I did green, I did a blue one, I did the um the like granite looking one so I really did a lot of different ones but I I think they all really are going to work together so I was really excited about how it really turned out Okay, so I also did a couple, I think just one. I did one silk screen, um, a leopard silk, silk screen as well. That's this peach one that I did. So, you know, just really mixing up the different patterns. And then I also did one with this stamp. So I did a really cool thing with this stamp. And basically what I did was I stamped it. And then it's like almost like a coloring book. And I want to do one that is a little bit more extensive, maybe stamping it with multiple different flowers. I don't know, but I'll, I want to play with this a little bit more. But it was my first time really trying it out. And so basically what I did was I stamped it with a stamp. And then I went back in and I filled in the basically filled in the lines so that you know with the stamp it obviously left an impression and then I went back in with paint and I like color in between the impression lines so it was like painting on a coloring book basically so I really like how this one turned out even once I did the the resin like the outcome of this looks really good it looks really good so i'm really excited to try this a couple more different times with even different stamps um i recently got another type of stamp as well so i'm excited to do something with that i'm gonna do like a whole stamp video soon um doing some slabs with different stamps because i really like how that came out and also got another stamp and it's in a with some uh, a woman in florals I'll, I'll tell you guys about it later but I really did like this and I'm trying out different techniques 
with the stamp so I'm excited for you guys to see that I think that's going to be like one of my next videos sometime soon so stay tuned for that I'm super excited for that to come out as well and so yeah just watch me finish painting and then yeah we're gonna you know close this video out soon okay thank you for watching this video it's been such a pleasure um just creating videos for you guys each and every week i did not like i said get a chance to complete this video or show you guys the finished product all put together just because i made so many and as you can see i have so many earrings to sand and assemble Whew, when i tell you a lot okay and all of them aren't even represented there I have more in some bins so I'm going to focus on that for the next couple of weeks I have so much to assemble so you guys can have a huge restock plus I have a live sale coming up soon not a live sale but an in-person event so I really got to get some sanding done and some assembling so make sure you subscribe to this video if you want to see more amazing content just like this subscribe to my channel like this video and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so you know every single time i upload a new video until next time see ya peace out